Hello and welcome to Operation Crypto. Today we will take a look at Unibright, which is UBT. We'll have a look over some of the basic fundamentals of a project, then have a look at some key statistics, and then finish off with some chart analysis. So if you are interested in that, please make sure you like the video, subscribe to my channel, and let's crack on. Right, let's begin on the, the main page of the Unibright website. So it is a blockchain-based business integration platform. And here you can see five key aspects of that network. So we have, we have Freequity, the Unibright framework, Ventures, Solutions, and the Think Tank all combined together to provide the entire business. So what is Unibright? Unibright is a team of blockchain specialists, architects, developers, and consultants with 20 plus years of experience in business processes and integration. We turn ideas into businesses and improve processes with the help of blockchain technology. We develop enterprise applications, invest in startups, build process modeling tools, and create a 360 degree ecosystem around tokenized assets. Here we have the name of the token, which is the Unibright token UBT. And as it says here, you can see that information on CoinMarketCap. We will from run through that very shortly. Just moving slightly back up the website towards the beginning, I did say that we have five separate parts of their business. So we have the Unibright Think Tank. We turn your ideas into working products and businesses. We have the solutions where we empower businesses to transform their processes and systems with blockchain technology. Ventures, so we provide venture capital services, financing, mentoring, and research collaboration to emerging projects and startups. We have Unibright Framework, we integrate businesses, processes into blockchain without a single line of code. And a free quitty, which is we offer services in all relevant stages of tokenization process and integrate them into markets and system landscapes. And like I say, each one of these has its own link. So we will take the first one for an example, but the rest of them, as you see at the bottom, you can see visit its own specific website. If we click on the, the think tank one, then it does give you a more in depth analysis of what actual each part of a business does. I'm not going to go running into it now because I'm just doing a basic overview, but there's a lot more detail if if you go into the specific websites and, and you can actually see what's going on in the business. Looking at CoinMarketCap here, we can see some of the stats of Unibright, which is UBT. Current price of knocking around 44 cents, currently ranked 87 out of all cryptocurrencies, with a total supply of 150 million UBT. Moving further down, all time highs, what we're interested in, 23rd of May, so that's last month, we're around just short of 60 cents, so we have dropped down a fair bit since then, if you're looking on the chart here, you can see it peaked up, that's the all time high, and as you can see, previous to that, it's just been pretty much steady away. Scrolling down, we just have a little read, so Unibright offers a unified framework that aims to bring blockchain technology and smart contracts to mainstream usage. Unibright develops enterprise blockchain solutions, builds integration platforms, and offers an ecosystem around tokenized assets. With its no coding needed approach, smart contracts can be generated, deployed, and updated automatically into different blockchains. Unibright works with visual use case related templates and also automatically integrates existing IT systems into a blockchain. And then if we just have a look at the market pairs, where we're currently listed. Bilexi is getting um what's it getting thirty five percent of the volume in the Ethereum pair. We are on IDEX, Bitrex is quite a big one at there, hot bit. So yeah, you can see fifteen pairs across several exchanges which is good. I mean some of these exchanges down here so a bit sonic banker and, and COSS are not getting any volume but as you can see the majority of the volume is getting done in these exchanges here against Ethereum. BTC pair is getting a little bit, but most of it is Ethereum getting a majority of the volume as it is an ERC20 token. And as it is an ERC20 token, we will just take a look over FSCAM. And it, it does give you all the basics again of a project server total supply. But what's interesting is the holder servers, currently 12,589 holders of the token and roughly just around 250,000 transfers so it has been getting a lot of action and having 12,000 holders of a, 
a token is it's a big deal that and it shows that there's quite a, a big and active community behind the coin as you can see with the transactions currently going through it's it's been moved around a lot and it shows that people are doing things with a token if we just go into the holders section so seven percent of the supplies are held on idex and you can see that the top five is basically the, the exchanges are there so and then the rest of it is is very well spread out so you get quite a bit of a what would you call it a chill factor knowing that for example 60 70 percent of the supply is not held by by the team itself and it is massively spread out so that's a massive bonus knowing that you're not going to get dumped on by some developer who seems to want to cash out and disappear so that's quite a good knowing it's quite reassuring just before we go into the chart work here we have the medium unibrack page everything that's new with unibrack gets published on the, the medium page i will drop the link in the description i'm not going to read through all of these because it'd be a long time listening to me talk and there's a lot of news here i mean this this page has been going since august 2018 so you can see there's a lot of information going here um, it just shows you partnerships with provide partnerships with baseline and then exchange listing so knowing that has been listed on bitrex is quite quite a big step for a, a company like unibright which has basically come out of nowhere over the last six months over on hotbit we can see that since probably around january this year it has been making some great moves prior to then it was pretty much flatlining and didn't do anything but i'm just showing you hotbit because this was the first exchange it was listed on some of the, the recent listings don't have much data but we'll look at trading view in a minute and see what we can we can try and suss out but yeah this, we had a bit of a, a little bit of rise in when was that that was february of last year as you can see it was around what do we have around 300 sats and it, it did shoot up to around 1200 so you could say that's like a times four and then ever so that year then nothing much happened it flatlined and then this is what's interesting so from from january this year it's broke up and it's got itself in in the top 100 coins now i want to say 80 or 97 it was so that's it's some exponential growth from what we were 179 sats all the way up to 6527 sats so that's um an insane rise and so what i want to do now is have a look at have a look at trading view and see if we can get some potential entry prices and then what potentially it, it could do in the future here on trading view we are looking at unibright against us dollar this is the hit btc chart it goes back to when do we go back to here around the beginning of march of 2020 which is this year and you can see we have had a fair bit of price action there's quite a lot of wicks on the on the daily here showing that each day it has been fairly volatile but uh, eventually creating its own um, trend line and, and moving up and down as it should do but what i want to do is draw some key levels on here and have a look at where we could potentially buy in and where we could potentially go in the future as i say we don't have much data on here as it is it's fairly i mean it has been around since 2018 but it's only been people have only started realizing about it recently so let's just try and see if we can get some key levels in here that does look like a little bit of a key level there so we acted as support there, and these wicks were bouncing off support there here we acted as resistance and then it came down and then it did break through let's see if we can just find another one on here again that looks like one around you could say around here you could use the wicks as resistance again as support so here so you could take them bouncing off support bounce off support acted as resistance there it did break through but it didn't have enough legs and it came back through and you can see these these wicks here were just touching up against that resistance breaking down so that two levels there is really on i need we don't have much data really so i want to draw, try and draw a fibonacci on here and see what we can potentially get in a form of a some buying points so we'll take that wick there because i'm going to discount that wick because that just absolutely moon for no reason at all if we just drop that on there so currently we are trading where we're we trading it now let's just have a look on back on coin market cap yep trading around 42 cent right now and as you can see here we have some some great levels potentially buy in for the future i would not be surprised if we did hit this level around the 0 0.236 level of a fibonacci bitcoin soon in my opinion is going to fall there will 
economies. Even though the, the stock markets are pumping, I think it's all a little bit false. And we are, I've seen some posts recently about a, a global recession coming and if it does, crypto will definitely be impacted on that. So that gives us some great opportunities to get up some, some cheap crypto. And if this does drop around, around the 29 to 30 cent level, that would be great. In terms of a price prediction over the next few years, I mean, the Fibonacci gives us some levels up here and that's shooting up to, I mean, there's not enough data. There's no data there on on TradingView to give you a valid prediction on the Fibonacci's. But in my opinion, this project has not been through that 2017 bull run that we had. And, and at least every coin in the top 100 were going up hundreds, if not thousands of percents. And, and I do see that if this coin stays in the top 100, news is constantly coming. People will buy into it and everything will pump um, when I do not know it could be the ne next year it could be late this year it could be the year after next we just do not know but a lot of the coins in the top 100 are very cheap I mean this is around 42 cent some coins that were 42 cent back 2017 shot up to 3 4 dollars and, and there's nothing saying that this top level of around 2 dollars cannot be broken and I think it will in my opinion, it could go to ten dollars. It could go. The, I mean, the sky is the limit. There's, there's so many places it could go. If like, if constant news is coming out and people are buying into it, then supply versus demand, the price will just keep rising, and we just need to keep an eye on it. Try and get some some try and get some tokens around this level, and then just hold them for the future, and that will be a great investment for the future in my opinion so that will wrap it up for today's video that's just a basic overview of unibright some of the basics um if you are happy with what you've seen so far please make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel as lots more will be coming in the future and i will catch you next time